congratulations on a great victory, great performance. Um, you mentioned in the cage that sort of the pressure was getting to you as the week, week built up. So now you've had the fight and you've won the fight. Yeah. How good do you feel? Uh, I feel great. And I, I meant just like the pressure of, um, obviously, it's, it's good pressure, you know, uh, more media, more UFC posts and stuff. So um, it's good pressure. But uh, being my name was everywhere all week, I had to just like put my phone down and just remember, I just got to come here and do what I do. And um, it was a big fight with Kiesa. I tried not to let that get get to me either. You know, I was 14. He was number six. That's a big jump. And um, I just knew I had to come in here and win the fight, and that's what I did. So I'm just I'm just happy to get, get this win and move on to the next one. Uh, out of curiosity, does that stuff come into the cage? Or once you're in there and you start fighting, does it disappear and you kind of put it out of your mind? It, dis it disappears. I, I was having fun in there. Even I got clipped and my nose literally would not stop bleeding. I just had so much blood in my mouth. After three, ra three minutes in the first round, I'm like, this is going to be a rough next uh, couple of rounds with all this blood in my mouth. So I, I kind of knew I had to um, get some takedowns, get some control time, and just and just win. You know, it, my, my kind of my game plan kind of went out the window of wanting to show some new stuff, and uh, I just had to win. So I'm pretty good at that. Is this one of those fights that you walk away from learning a lot? I, mean, I know that you learn from every fight, but against yeah. a guy like Chiesa, he's obviously, you know, yeah. he's almost underrated in the division. Yeah. Right? He's really good. Yeah. Do you walk away from this learning some stuff? 100%. I didn't underestimate him coming in. I knew this was going to be a tough fight. Sometimes you get finishes, sometimes you don't. It's just, I fought Court McGee, my pro debut, I mean, my UFC debut, and that was one of my toughest fights. You know, there's, there's just some guys who are dogs, and um, no matter what, they're hard to get out of there, and uh, he hit me with some good shots. I just had to do what I had to do to win, and um, I have nothing but respect for Kiesa. Super tough guy, and I'm just grateful he even gave me the opportunity to fight someone with a high ranking like him. Did you guys swap jerseys? Oh, yeah. Right. I got it on. It was funny. All the beginning of the week, I had black shorts, and they gave me a, a white top. I'm like, man, I really want a black top. He had a black top. He wanted to trade jerseys, so uh, it worked out. He's an awesome dude. Him and Paul are super close. Obviously, me and Paul felt are super close, so uh, we had a little, a little mutual thing there. Do you guys talk to each other while you're fighting as well? He was, he was like, man, he was like, you're fucking, he was like, you're fucking strong. He was like, you're really strong. He was like, Paul wasn't lying. I was like, thanks, bro. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to win this fight here. He, he was, even at the weigh-ins, you don't, it, there doesn't have to be animosity, you know. Some of my training partners are my best friends, and we try to kill each other every day, strangling each other, and we're best friends afterwards. It's, it's, it's no thing, you know, to be nice to each other. Got DC over here. So where do you go from here, right? Because forgot my name dog that's that that hurts that hurts that hurts yo you better follow me back on instagram tonight i already followed i don't think you do and then you forgot it i love you dc i love you dc i know i love you dc you're the man thank you bro DC forgot your name, man. Dude, it's cold. super disrespectful. That's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Call him out. Fight him next. So where do you, where do you go from here then? Obviously, Kies is like, this might be one of those victories that's like a, the staple win for you, right, to take you to the next that's, level. That's 100% what it was, you know. Um, one of the biggest critic, crit, I guess, whatever people would say, is that I didn't have the name, uh, I didn't have a big win on my record yet. I was 14-0, but I beat some good guys, but I didn't beat anyone that was in the top 10 or the top five, whatever. I just, I beat Kiesa, he has a big name, and now I think I'll be able to get other big names. So I was even surprised when I got him, you know? I was trying to fight guys, I was 14, I was trying to fight anyone literally in the top 15, anyone that was next to me, and I was having a hard time get some, getting something, and then they offered me him, and um, I was just grateful for it, and now the other guys really aren't going to be able to say no, you know, so. Congrats on the win. Thank you, brother. Hey, Sean. You say big names. Uh, who do you want? Um, I think the winner of Bilal and Wonder Boy would be fun. You know, uh, I don't know what they're both ranked, but I know they're both in the top ten. I know the rankings come out on Tuesday. I'm sure I'm going to land somewhere in the top ten, um, and then yeah, we go from there. I uh, I got a couple of tattoo appointments. I got to get taken care of after this fight when I get back to Philly. I'm going to get my nose fixed. It's been a long time coming. I get touched in sparring and it bleeds. So um, it's something I got to get taken care of, but 
After that, early 21st quarter of 2022, let's run it. What tattoos are you getting? I got to get my butt finished, actually. <laughs> it's a uh, Japanese Fujin, and it ain't going to feel good, but my tattoo artist won't tattoo me anymore unless I finish that, so I got to get that finished. Um, how is that going to be sitting down? It's not going to be fun. <laughs> is it a bit weird that your tattooist just wants to see your butt and like, finish that? I mean... It, it is, hey, other people will see it too, but uh, probably, probably only me, my fiance and my coaches when I'm cutting weight and I, I get naked because I don't really care about anything else, but that's about it. Uh, I, know, I know it's there. <laughs> well, what's in the water at, a, at Henzo Gracie Philly, bro? Lead. <laughs> we're, we're, we, uh, man, we have a small gym literally in a basement. My, uh, my coach, Daniel Gracie, has a jiu-jitsu gym under the L, two blocks away, we're in the hardest part of the city, and you can see we have some of the toughest guys coming out. We got, I think, five guys in the UFC now, and it's just scratching the surface. You know, we had Paul Felder, we had Jonathan Webb, now there's me, Jeremiah Wells, Andre Petrosky, Pat Sabatini. We have so many guys, and um, it's just going to keep on rolling. And we're slowly and steady, we're getting a nicer facility as it comes. But, um, man, we've had times where we didn't have lights in our gym, so. We, we come from, 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 tough, from a tough city, and we're, we're tough fighters, and uh, we're going to show we're here to stay. And finally, um, I, you know, I think all the hardcore fans knew just, just how good you are, how talented you yeah. are. Do you think this win really opened the eyes just to the casual fans who, who didn't know who Sean Brady was? Yeah, like I said, I, I didn't really have that name, but beating Kiesa, the casuals are definitely going to know who I am. But like you said, the hardcore people and people who have trained with me, they know what I am, and they know what I do, and this wasn't even... Uh, a scratch of the surface of what I can do and what I'm going to show. Congrats. Thank you, brother. If MMA math was easy, it should just be easy enough to say you get you and Case are going to swap positions, that you should jump up there. And Is yeah. that something that will you be pissed if you don't get that higher ranking? I mean, that'd be cool, but I don't think it works like that. Uh, I'm sure I'll land in the top 10. I don't know really how it works or who even goes off of that, but uh, as long as I'm in the top 10, I'll, I don't see how I wouldn't be. I'd be happy with that. So for you, uh, as opposed to the ranking, it's, it's the fun matchups you want. Obviously, you want to keep going up in the rankings because if it does, but is that something that means more than you, that you're getting fun, meaningful matches more than just a, a No, I want, I, want to, I want to work up the ladder. You know, I, I, I do care about ranking because I want to fight for a world champion sooner than later, you know. So after Kiesa, I, I'll fight someone in the top ten now or I'll fight someone in the top five, but it's got to be – putting me to that next level, and um, I think I deserve that now. So uh, we'll see what the UFC thinks, and hopefully they're happy with me, and uh, we'll go from there. Congrats on the victory. Thank you, bro. You said uh, that you bleed a lot during the training. Did you break your nose leading up to the fight? <clears throat> no, I broke my nose multiple times, and I just never got it fixed. So sometimes I'll get hit hard, and it won't bleed, but the other times I'll get, like, brushed, and it will bleed bad during practice. And it just has to be, like, they burn something in your nose or scrape something out, and then it would stop. But um, I got I'm gonna get it taken care of once I get home because I had so much blood in my throat. I was like just like hacking it up the whole time. Uh, you say you train in a hard part of the city. Do you sometimes uh, get training in on the way to the gym? I mean, you, have you, you had you, instances? You might, you might, Philly. But in Philly, they're they're not gonna fight you. You're gonna get shot. So you you gotta be on your P's and Q's and, ha and have something handy. So uh, me and all my, my coaches st stay with something on us. So we're, we're safe. That's good. Congratulations. Thank you, bro.